Hello, Internet. I'm Rachel, in case you didn't know, and I'm from Beauty in the Bookshelf. Today I'm doing my first vlog, and my first book haul, so don't make fun of me. And we'll see how bad I mess this up and how long it takes. But today I'm going to share with you what I think are all the books I got in April. And there's a lot, because it was my birthday month. I turned 21. Woo! But don't worry, I didn't party. But anyway, I got lots of books. A few I got for my birthday. I just spent the money I want I shouldn't have, and some arcs I got, some books I won, so I'm going to give you a peek at them. Starting with one that I just got in the mail today, right before I was going to start doing this vlog video thing, and it's Learning Not to Drown by Anna Shinoda. Fair warning, right now I'm going to mess up a lot of names because pronunciation and I are not the best of friends. So this is Learning Not to Drown, super pretty cover, you know, back. Nothing really under it when it's naked, but the inside flap, which you can't really see, is super duper cool. It says, click, click, click. Everyone's got a skeleton or two in their closet. But Claris has just been let out of prison, and it's rattling at the door. Does that not sound super freaky cool? Yeah. I'll read that one, that's for sure. And after that, just got in the mail from the lovely Terry Brown. I want a paperback of Born of Illusion, and it's all signed in Freddy's, and I have three copies, so maybe I'll give one away soon. And with Born of Illusion, which is actually right here, I got the sequel, Born of Deception, which is out... June 10th, so you can read it soon. Isn't it pretty? Look at them together. They're so pretty. They're so pretty together. Ooh. Yeah, I'm weird in case you didn't notice. I also have the latest from... <coughs> Excuse me, her name is not Costco, by the way. The latest from Sarah Beth Durst called Chasing Power. Kind of reminds me of the City of Ember, which I read in like Gosh, 7th or 8th grade. So a long time ago. But this looks good and fancy. So I'm excited to check this one out. And I'm super duper duper excited for an arc I won from the author. I'll try to say his name, but I'm telling you, I'm going to mess up, mess it up. But let's get lost by Adi Al-Sad. Al -Sad. Couldn't tell you, but I'm super excited to read this. I have a thing for maps. I'd show you with my webcam map I have in here, but the webcam likes to shut off, so I move it around. It's stupid. But there's a pretty map on the cover, and it marks these spots, and then you open the thing up, and it's all like, ooh, fancy stuff. Oh, look, an autograph from Fancy. Look, more Fancy. Whee. Look at, see, that's the author. Isn't that cool? Super excited to read this. I'm going to try to read it soon and maybe do a little art tour with it. I think some people might want to read it. And it'd be cool to have a book about traveling. Have it travel. So I'm going to check that out. And then I've got a couple ebooks to share with you. Some of you guys totally care. But I'm going to show you. Maybe. If my thing isn't stupid. I'll show you... The one I'm really excited about. I got a couple this month, and they're really good. I'm not going crazy on ebooks, on idolized, idolized, however you pronounce the stupid thing, in that galley, because I'm so overflowing in arts, and I can't keep reading them. But I'm super excited to have, if it would let me open it, maybe we don't get to see it. My Kim doesn't let me open it. Well, I have Smell Like Ashes. You can't even see. I'll try again later. That just ruined. Because my Kindle thing is not responding. Well, there goes that technology piece for the day. Anyway, back to the birthday haul. So, for my mom, I got four books. Threaten by Elliot Schreiber. Super excited. I read the e-arc of this and loved it. It's about chimpanzees, which are not... By the way, monkeys. Please don't call them monkeys. Please don't. This is about a boy who's also into the wild, and he's with a family of chimpanzees. He kind of becomes one with them. And this is a companion to Threatened, which is about bonobos. Bonobos. Pronunciation. Can't do it. So this, this is in the 
Pongo. Right? And this is in Africa. Oh, um, I'm going to screw up everyone's geography, so I'm just going to stop right there because I'm going to embarrass myself. But great, both of them. Not exactly nonfiction, but really good realistic fiction that I would highly, highly, highly recommend. Super good. And then I also got, which I haven't read yet, I'm so sorry, because I've heard such great things about it. The Winner's Curse by Marie Rut Rutkowski. Super pretty. I think it had a special little link in this. But you can't see because I have really bad lighting. Oh, see, there's a little design. I wish it was a dagger. But this is... Careful. Sorry, books are bathing. We all know that. It's got the winner's card. I'm super excited to read. I'm hearing fantastic stuff about. And I'm super, super excited to get the Assassin's Blade. Red Throne of blah, 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 blah. Red Throne of Glass. Red Crown of Midnight. Loved Crown of Midnight. It's like, I need this. So I'm going to read this soon and use it to help me cheat on catching up to my good read school because I'm a little bit behind. And also from my lovely mother, I got These Broken Stars, which should be a matte cover. It should not be glossy. But yeah, it's, it's super pretty. I don't think it's no, it's not a special one, but... Wee, these broken stars! Which you should read, it's really good. It really, it hits you in the feels. It's a big feels messer upper. Okay, and then with my birthday money, of course, all I got with my birthday money was books. And some Walking Dead. And one, season one and season three now. Now I need season two, because... Who's Charles? Anyway, back to books. I wanted to buy this one because the cover is pretty, and it support local authors. These Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. Super pretty. Blurred by Kiara Cass, in case you like that kind of stuff. Not really anything under it, but this side is fine. Super pretty. Yes, yeah, super excited to read this one. Cover is just gorgeous. I know if you want it too. It's, you know, of course, all the big, whatever sides, but you've seen it at Target and our Costco has it. It's cool with that Costco. I have the final book in Jody Meadows Incarnate series. Super excited to read this. Can't believe I haven't read it yet. Hoping it doesn't break my heart. I've heard it's nice. I heard it won't kill me like the book that shall not be named. And if you don't know what that is, go to my blog and you'll find the book that shall not be named. And this one too. It's all pretty underneath. Ooh, look at me, a feather. That's why. This book will fly into your heart. That's where it will go. Okay, we also have, I haven't read this one yet either, but I bought it for the cover so I can just, like, take off the text, put it in a frame, and I'll put it on my wall. I mean, it's my fault in our stars poster, which you also can't see. But Plus One by Elizabeth Fama. Fama. Who knows, but look at how pretty that is. Ooh, they're kissing. So pretty. So pretty. I love it. I'm really excited to read it and I hope it's as good as the cover is. I finally, finally, finally bought The Rules for Disappearing by Ashley Elston. Love this book. Super fun, great witness protection program. Kept me up to like four in the morning when I read it. Read the sequel. Also fun and good out. I think you can get it this month. May. Get on it, because you're really going to want to read it, because it's a fun series, and Ethan's mine. Sorry, you can't have Ethan Landry. He's, he's my favorite. I love Ethan. But really good, good series. I also finally bought The Elite by Kiara Cass. Of course, I've already read this one. I need to own it, because I like the series. Actually, I love the series, and she's going to be here this month. If you live in the Washington State area, she'll be here May 23rd at University Bookstore with... Kevin Emerson and Amanda Maciel. Super excited. So good. So fun. It's got its little trademark crown in there. Most people are iffy about this series, but I think it's so fun. And then the sequel comes out if she. It's not sequel, when the one is out in less than a week. And if there is not a wedding between America, America, and Maxon, 
I'm gonna be crushed. My soul will fall into a thousand little pieces. And then I also bought two books that I really wanted with the birthday money. I found a hardcover of Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. Only one of her book books I haven't read besides Rainline, of course. It's not out yet, but super excited to finally read this and to have all her hardcovers together now because they're so pretty. And I love, loved Lauren Park. Fangirl was just my favorite of last year. Fangirl was epically amazing. So I'm super excited to read Attachments and I'm getting into adult lately. So I'm excited to add that to my list. And I also bought the UK version of Fangirl because it has the little pretty drawings and then the little comic thing. I think it's the one where he asks, yeah, are you rooting for me? I'm rooting for you, Levi. Yeah, I'm rooting for you. So I'm really excited about that one. I'm going to book some as well. And I also bought The Taking by Kimberly Durding. Super excited about it. I think it had, yeah, it says The Taking. I like to undress books and see what's underneath them. I sometimes just go to the store and just look under all the books to see what's under them. Got this for launch party. just happened the other day. This is a great, fun, addicting book. Sorry, I actually like I didn't like it. I did. I like it. I swear. I'm lost for words sometimes. She also wrote the Body Finder series and the pleasure if you read that. But this is fun. Tyler's cute. He's not Jay. Nobody's Jay. But he's cute. And there's kind of aliens in this. Really good, though. Addictive. You really want to know what the hell is going on. Still don't know what the hell is going on. And then, oh, books are falling, books are falling. Let's not have that happen again. And last but not least, <coughs> as I have a little miniature cough attack. Now, I have not technically read the series. I started the first book. I've been in a book club. I haven't finished it, but I want to finish it because it's really good. And I really want the main character's hair. But... I had to buy it because it's just so pretty and I wanted to own all the books. But, but Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. I did not know that I was getting a little goodie with it. And there is a drawing of, is it Hans Karu? Don't ask me how to pronounce it. Like I said, I don't know pronunciations. But cool, I didn't know I had the, I got the little autograph too. I was like, this is nice. This is fancy little bonus goodie. And I always want to look at this. I, Quickly, don't look at any of the blurb stuff because I don't want to know what happened in the books because I haven't read them yet. But I think those are all my books. Yep, yeah, that's what I got this month. I'll have more books to show next month. I know I'm expecting a few in the mail. I'm going to buy more. There's a lot of events coming up. Again, if you're in the Washington area, there is the First Loves event with Emery, Emery Lord here at Open Road Summer. Super excited to read that. Her great things. I'll uh, be Mandy Hubbard will be there for Fool Me Twice, and then Lindsay Lovett for the Chapel Wars. And then we have the Story Crush Tour on May 23rd, Kiara Cass, Kevin Emerson, and Amanda Maciel. And if the First Loves Tour isn't quite yours type of thing, at the same time somewhere else, Samantha Shannon will be signing the Bone Season. So that's what's it for Bookish Stuff, and I'll be back soon with even more books. Adios, muchachos!